Here we have the letter A, here we have B, and here we have them combined in a mesh based transition. And what we're doing here is taking two meshes, merging them, and rotating the result to get a trippy illusion. This, of course, generalizes to all pairs of letters, which means we can morph between words, long phrases, and even more complex symbols. So as long as you have the news version of Blender, two 3D models to work with, and hatred for booleans, you two can make this morphing illusion in 3, 2, 1. So with Blender open, evaporate the default cube, add in a text object, and with your favorite font selected, pick any letter you want to use. Next, extrude this text to give it thickness and reorient it so it's resting on the ground plane. For the second letter, just do duplicate our text object, edit the letter to something different, and position it perpendicularly to the original text, making sure that they fully intersect. Finally, to combine these, convert both of them to meshes, use a boolean modifier to find their intersection, and hide the original mesh. Of course, this breaks our shading, which for most of us is fine, but for you losers out there, just head to the object data tab and enable auto smooth to get cleaner results. This gives us our combined letter, which we can either animate or just eat as a breakfast cereal. For words, we pretty much use the exact same workflow, but when we calculate our intersection, we're going to get a grid of morph letters. You can either decide to keep these or only save the diagonal entries to get rid of the repetition. For more complicated shapes, import your SVG file, extrude it to give it thickness, and convert this curve object to a mesh. Do the same for your second SVG file, and then repeat the same Boolean nonsense to get your final merge result. And there you go, another 10 out of 10 beginner-friendly tutorial to watch upside down. I've been CG Matter, you've been you, Bye bye